Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I will show you one more knit flat uh, socks or slippers. I have already posted uh, similar uh, socks on my blog and YouTube channel, but the pattern were a little bit different. These slippers are perfect for beginners. They're really comfortable and easy to knit and easy to calculate. I will tell you how to knit the slippers for any size. For the slippers I was using bulky weight yarn from Land Brand. Color made easy. So use any bulky yarn or you can use actually medium worsted weight yarn and just um, check my calculations and using your gauge you can use any type of yarn any weight of yarn and uh, you will need also 5.5 millimeters knitting needles or um, other size to reach uh, my gauge and i have 14 stitches per 10 centimeters i've used less than 100 grams of the bulky yarn and at the end you will need a hook. Uh, I used 4.5 millimeters. You can also use 4 millimeters uh, or 5 millimeters. Uh, that's actually it uh, about materials. And now I want to show you my calculations. So here what we are going to need. And then we are going to sew sole and the heel. So my gauge 14 stitches, 10 centimeters. So 1 centimeters, 1.4 stitches. I am knitting the slippers for either size 7 or 8. They are really stretchy. So it is tw the sole is 24 centimeters. And you see it's stretchy. So minus 10 percent and i get 21 and 6 or approximately 22 centimeters so this lens has to be 22 centimeters so let's put it like this and the lens of this part has to be 22 centimeters after that The widths. widths will be the same for all sizes, so 20 centimeters. And this part, this part is 8 centimeters. The second part is also 8 centimeters. And what we have what we have left is 4 centimeters for the middle part for this part. So now let's calculate how many stitches you need to cast on. So 22 centimeters by 1.4 equals 30.8 or 31 stitches. This is the number of stitches that I'm going to cast on for US size 7 or 8. So let's get started using long tail cast on method. Cast on 31 stitches. And the first row. Slip the first stitch. And knit all other stitches till the last one.
Нет, нет. And now pearl the last stitch where we will always pearl it. It's a salary stitch turn. And let's repeat row number one. So slip the first stitch and knit all stitches. So go on knitting till the end, draw the last stitch, turn and go on knitting back and forth in total 12 rows. So I've done 12 rows. We can count garter stitch rows if you want. There are six garter stitch rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six garter stitch rows means 12 normal rows. Now count six stitches and place a stitch marker from the left. So it will be easier because now we start knitting in stocking it stitch as the biggest part and those six stitches we will just knit as we needed before in garter stitch. Slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches. I will do it a little bit faster. No changes in this row. Need all stitches. And draw the last sewing stitch. Great. Now turn. The second row here. Need five. Slip the first stitch and need five. And now draw all stitches till the end. So this part will be needed in stocking and stitch. And draw the last sewing stitch. Now let's repeat last two rows. So we did one, two. Then row number three will be the same. Need all stitches. Row number four need the sti uh, stitches till the stitch markers and draw all other stitches. Row number five will we will need all stitches and row number six need and curl. So in total I will need six rows. But when you need six rows, just measure this part and this part has to measure eight centimeters. So if it doesn't measure eight centimeters, then just repeat last two rows more times. Let's measure garter stitch part only. Now it's five centimeters. So go on knitting until you reach eight centimeters. So here I am and now if we measure so almost 8 centimeters so it's okay because it's stretching. Now we need to bind off the half and I will bind off 15 stitches. So let's count so you leave 16 stitches on the left side and we will bind off first 15 stitches. 
slip the first stitch, knit one and then slip the first stitch over the second one, knit, slip over, 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 and we need to bind off this last stitch as well. So let's remove the stitch marker, knit one and slip over. That's it. That's how it looks. Now return the stitch to the left hand needle and let's start knitting the central part. So now we have 16 stitches. The last six stitches we will go on knitting in garter stitch. Then also first four stitches we will knit in garter stitch. Let's place the stitch marker so it will be easier. Four first stitches we will knit in garter stitch and central stitches we will knit in stocking it stitch. It means that on the right side we will knit it and on the back part we will, we will purl the stitches and this one, four and six stitches, we will always knit on the right and on the back part. So slip the first stitch and knit all stitches till the end. So on the right side. And pull the last celery stitch, turn, and now be careful. Slip the first stitch, knit five, after that purl six, the central part, central part of the central part. Row six. Now we need three. And pull the last salvage stitch. Great. Turn. And and now we will repeat last two rows. Let's do it again. Skip the first stitch and knit all stitches. Roll, turn, now again, slip the first stitch, knit five, now curl six, Need three and pearl the last sewing stitch. So we've done four rows, and in total, you will need to do ten rows, repeating first two rows, knitting all stitches on the right side and on the wrong side, knitting all stitches except of the central part. 
back and forth, back and forth. And as you remember, the central part has to measure four centimeters. If you need more rows, then go on knitting more rows, especially if you are using another weight of yarn. Go on and I will see you after. So now I'm on the wrong side and finishing my last row, row number 10 of the central part. Knit all stitches here without selvage stitch. Knit the last stitch as well because we go on cast on 15 stitches that we bound off before. This part measures now approximately 4 centimeters. Now on the wrong side, on the wrong side, cast on 15 stitches in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. So now you have the same initial number of stitches, 31. Yes. And we will start in knitting in opposite direction, like what we did here in stocking and stitch. Here I'm going to need the first stitch, it's only once. And now it depends how you cast it on your stitches. I will need now all my stitches through the back loop, but it's only once again. Only in this row. Need all stitches. Till the end. You can remove this stitch marker, you don't need it, just leave the last one. And curl. Turn. Now slip the first stitch. Need five, and after the stitch marker, purl all stitches.
and draw the last sewing stitch. So I hope it's clear. You did two, two rows and we need to, to make four more rows as we did before. So skip the first stitch and knit all other stitches. Finish this row, turn, knit five and then pull all other stitches. So in the same way, six rows in total. Go on knitting and I will see you after. Here I am. That's what I have. Now next 12 rows. Just knit all stitches back and forth. The same part as we did here. In my case it's 12 rows. If you need it more then knit more. So go on till the end. You can remove the stitch marker, you don't need it. Knit all stitches, turn and knit on the wrong side. Go on and I will see you after. So here I am, I've done everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, six garter stitch rows. And now let's bind off all stitches. Skip the first stitch. Knit one, skip the first stitch over the second one. Again, knit one, skip the first over the second. Knit one, skip over. Knit one, slip over. Go on, binding off till the end. Okay, now cut the yarn and leave a long tail, like one meter or two meters, <laughs> but one is enough. We'll anyway attach a new tail. Now you will need a yarn needle or tapestry needle. Thread the tail. And let's pick up the front bars of each stitch. There's sewage stitch front bars in this way. Perfect. Pull the tail, and now let's turn. In the circle. Pull tight and now try to sew it from one side and from another side. Always pull in the tail. Insert the needle underneath. 
two or three stitches on the left side, then the same on the right side. And again on the left side. And we are on the right side now. And on this side a little bit. And that's how it looks. Now pull the tail to the bottom again. Let, let's sew there. So on one side insert the needle through the back loop. And here is the back loop. Loose it. And on another side. So we will work. Through these stitches, and again through the back loop, what's wrong with camera? And then through this stitch. Again, back loop. And please pay attention how I insert the needle. And through the ridge. And back loop. And which back loop in the next stretch here. Pull a little bit and you will get a really nice and comfortable to wear seam. Go on till the end. So here what I have. Really nice seam. Soft and neat. Now let's go on and sew the heel. back loop. Uh, I hope you can see it. Back loop on one side. And front loop here. And again, please pay attention how I insert the needle. Back loop. Front loop. Back loop. Front 
front and so on. Let's do it a little bit faster. Also, on this camera. And here at the end, and underneath those loops here. Like this. Now we will need, I'm going to use the same yarn the same tail and go on working around using hook and then i will attach for sure this tail is not enough so i will attach uh, another tail after so let's start Let's just pull the needle just to join like this. And we will work through the front loops. We will make one single crochet in each stitch around. one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet So go on working around one single crochet front loop only and I will see you at the end add a new yarn if needed. So let's join. If you want you can stop at this moment. It already looks nice like this. I'm going to crochet one more round of uh, crab stitch or it is also known as uh, reverse single crochet. So we are going to work in opposite direction so insert the hook into the last stitch and make a single crochet and repeat and make a single crochet Let's do it again and make a single crochet 
like this you will get a wavy edge Please go on crocheting. And I will see you at the end. So here I am. That's how it looks. Cut the yarn. Using hook or yarn needle, just join in this way. That's it. Don't forget to weave in all ends and let's try it. Here it is. I like it. Tell me if you like it too. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. The written instruction, as usual, you can find on my blog. The link, please check in the description box. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you soon in my next video tutorials. Bye!